Hey guys, welcome to Danky 8000's Top 10 Games of 2011, where I look back on games that I think deserve some much needed recognition in this past year of 2011. Alright, number 8 on the countdown is L.A. Noir. Now, L.A. Noir was a game that people were ready to see. It was something that reinvented the whole facial reconstruction into a video game, like where they basically copy an actor's facial, facial features exactly to represent it in the game. And honestly, they probably did a, they did a phenomenal job. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw the game, how, how realistic everything looked. Now, there were a lot of people found beefs with it, saying it was repetitive and that it, it didn't really have much replayability, which I have to agree, but the game's it's, it's on my top 10 because I feel like it re it basically started uh, a whole new advancement in technology for video games to come and it also happens to be a dete like detective I guess thriller where you basically solve the mysteries yourself there's chases there's like actual the biggest thing is the facial the facial features when you whenever you're in um, interviewing or asking questions to a suspect or a witness or whatever and you can tell if they're lying telling the truth or whatever the case is and you can also look for evidence you know realistic evidence well whatever you could back in 1947 but it was it, it, the game itself I was just enthralled the entire time I I was playing it I mean I couldn't have asked for something way more entertaining considering I love that style of game I don't need to shoot something 24 hours a day even though this was in the game so while some may have a beef with this game about what it's done you know it's it's how it's been repetitive or how it didn't have much replayability I think it's a it's a big stepping stone for video games and this is why it is in my top 10 coming in at number 8 uh, LA Noir definitely a great game uh, lots of content in it. However, it does like I, I do have to agree with the fact that there isn't a whole lot of replayability once you have completed the game. But I loved every second of playing it. Uh, it was one of it was one of my longer playthroughs. Great time, great laughs. Number eight on the countdown. 